So this recovery didn't go as planned. Casey's gonna sink it. Yep. That you guys not spinning. Okay. So just blow a front end? Uh you may have. So uh now what? Time to get creative. Yep. Uh, yeah, we yeah. all the help we can get. Yeah, you're gonna be in low range, locked, everything you can do. There you go. Keep her going, keep her going. Ah! Oh. Dude, like, everything went wrong. Like, all of it. Like, well, good snowy morning. We are getting the tires aired down because we're heading out on a rescue mission to go find a couple that got stuck in the snow. I see your game here. <laughs> and uh, stranded overnight, ended up having to sleep in their vehicle somewhere out there in the wilderness we actually do have some pretty good gps coordinates on this one so dropping the tires down to six psi and then we're gonna head out here and uh should be able to find it pretty easy and see what it takes to get them out of here so we all knew we were supposed to get some snow yesterday i thought it was just gonna be a little bit of fresh stuff over the top to make it look all pretty and then uh they must have too which is why they thought it was okay to drive out here yesterday before the snow came in and uh i was at home looking out the window and it just kept snowing and snowing yeah. and snowing and the flakes kept getting bigger and i was like oh we're not just getting a dusting we're getting like snow snow i think i had about five to six inches last night That's i believe that yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's valentine's day after all so they were probably just as surprised as all the rest of us were with how much snow we actually got uh we got about nine ten miles out here to go and uh this getting some elevation as we go so we'll see how bad it got when we're actually out there they're in a toyota sequoia yeah so good thing is they had a nice comfortable place to stay. Yeah, it's a big tree. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna get this thing going and we'll see if we can get them out of here. So these people did get stuck last night. Um, not much phone service where they're at, so they weren't able to really get a hold of anyone. Uh, this morning though, they were able to get a couple bars of service, got a hold of me. They were hesitant to call a tow company because uh, tow companies are not the cheapest thing in the world, especially when it comes to off-road recovery. But luckily for them, this is a sponsored video, and the sponsor of today's video is Aura. Uh, Aura is a company that protects your online privacy. Uh, they reached out to me a while back and uh, got me signed up with them to try out. And they offer identity theft protection, VPN services. They search the internet and find your information out there from data brokers, spammers, scammers, which are two different things there. Google your name. It is. Just Google your own name and it is scary how much of your information is out there. Especially for someone like me who really likes my privacy but doesn't have a whole lot of it because of this whole YouTube thing. The amount of websites that have your information like your address, phone numbers, health records, your relatives, that stuff is all out there on these data sites. Aura finds that stuff and they submit the request to get it removed from those sites. And if they are legitimate sites, they do have to remove it. Now the scary one is the scammers. Uh, I got signed up with Aura. It took all of like 10 minutes to enter all my information I needed for them to get to work on it. And in uh, right away, one of the first things they do is they search the dark web for your passwords and they found one. Luckily for me, it was not like a bank account or a very important account. So not anything that was tied to money, but someone had gotten a hold of one of my passwords and had it on the dark web uh, for sale. So. They were able to alert me of that, and then I was able to change that password to that account so that now I know that one is secure and that is not out there anymore. But now that I'm using Aura, luckily if something like that got missed and I did have some identity theft, Aura offers identity theft insurance to help out with the costs in incurred in an identity theft situation if they are unable to stop it. So that's really comforting to know right there. If that password would have been a much more important one that they had missed somehow, I'd have been covered. So in addition to scammers, Aura also protects you from spammers. Now, scammers are the ones trying to steal from you. Spammers are the ones trying to sell your information to every company out there who's trying to sell you things. And that's when your inbox and your email fills up with stuff, you get the telemarketer calls, all that. That all comes through your information being sold out all over the internet. So since I started using Aura, uh, I can tell you that the spam folder in my email has pretty much dried up and disappeared. It used to just flood full of stuff and that has been cut back to almost nothing and it's been actually doing a really good job of filtering out what is a legitimate email and what is a spam email. 
Another handy feature is the antivirus protection you get from it because uh, obviously it's much easier to protect your information if your information never gets out there in the first place or also, also offers antivirus built in. All of this stuff just comes in one package for one price to make it convenient and easy, protect your information online, keep you safe, keep your money safe, and other things. What was the other thing I was supposed to say? Uh, VPN? Yep, they're VPN as well. Protect your information that way. Um, I don't know, you got the script. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem, I have a script. Oh. See, they didn't give me like an actual script, and they didn't tell me what I had to say. What they did was, here it is, use it, see if you like it. Then you tell people in your words what it offers, what it can do for them. And the one thing I'll challenge you guys to do, like I said, go Google your name online and see how much of your stuff is out there. Then go compare uh, other online protection services like this. Don't just look at Aura's. Look at the others too and see which one would work best for you. I'm sure that's definitely not in a script they had in mind. No, I'm but sure not. Look at look at other brands that are out there. Look at what those ones offer. Look at the prices they have. Look at what Aura offers, what they have. Find the one that's best for you because I don't want you to use this one just because I said so when it's really not the best one for you. Your situation might be different or something else works better. This is definitely not what they had in mind me saying. But no. What works best for you is the best one for you to get after looking through everything because before I even signed up for the, the free offer they gave me, uh, I looked around a bunch of others too and decided that they were the best one for me to try despite the sponsorship free thing. So that's what I went with. But I want you to go with what's best for you. This has to do what's best for me. I recommend you look into it. And again, thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video, making this recovery for these people out here for free so that a nice trip to the woods didn't ruin their good day. I mean, it kind of did because they got stuck and straight out here overnight, but now they don't have a big go on top of it. And that's thanks to Aura. Thanks. Let's see how the rest of this goes. Yeah, yeah. thank you Aura for sponsoring today's recovery. Uh, I'll have to give it a shot here. See what, uh, what kind of dirt they can dig up on me on the internet. Ooh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Just toe pictures. <laughs> toe pictures. <laughs> toe pictures and Land Cruiser stuff. <laughs> Your information is on so many Land Cruiser forums. I did forget something. There's a 14 day free trial. So what you just said right there, of like I'll have to check it out. You can for 14 days for free, two whole weeks. At the link in my description below, I'll put the link to the 14 day free trial where you can actually try it out for free and see what kind of information you can dig up yourself on the internet. Cool. That's way better. There you go. I know you said that and I'm like, I know there's something else. You're like, I'll have to try it out. I'm like, oh, everybody can try it out. Gotcha. So go check out the link in my description, get your 14 day free trial, see if it's right for you. Okay, let's go do some recovery in. Recovering. That's a word. It is. Casey's Casey Liddell's English language. There they are. Yep, we found them. Right? Look at I love good GPS coordinates. Look at that. There we go. Right there. You they, have a right. They nailed it. Yep. Love it when it works out like that. Yeah. Okay, let's go see what we're getting into. Sounds like I'm kind of thinking there's a road right there. It might make the most sense to pull you backwards to that road and turn around, then we can pull you out It's forward. pretty mellow up until about here. That's where it dips sideways. And yeah, this is slope pretty good right here. I've yeah. pulled, I've actually pulled a few people out of here. Me and Grumpy were right here pulling someone out. Really? This slope gets a lot of people off the... No! You know where this spot is? Is that, that tree right here? This is the tree I had to use to pull myself out when I went off the side right here in my silver dodge. After I pulled the Subaru out, they made it probably 60, 70 feet farther than you did, and they went off the side. Yeah. I came in to pull them out. I was backing up, and I slid off the road into all that brush right there, and I had to use that tree to winch myself out. Wow. Okay, so I got out of the ruts and slid off the road <laughs> into the bushes over the bank. So now I got to pull myself out. Oh, so yeah, I, I do know. I do know the spot really yeah, well. No, I don't feel so bad. This yeah, is don't, the spot. don't feel bad. Everyone gets stuck. Cool. Yeah. Uh, get fired up. Warmed up. I think I'm gonna turn around okay. and back into here and then I'll hook up the, the Yankum rope and we'll pull you up here okay. to where we can spin around. And I'm in four low, you want me to go to neutral? Or? No, you're staying four low and being in reverse to help okay. out. Okay. I'm gonna back up and turn around and back in. Okay. Casey's okay, gonna sink it. Yep. Hey! 
You can't park there. Hey. Is my other front turning? I have no idea. Why do I have lockers front and rear and this one's not turning? Uh, maybe you don't have lockers anymore. Let me check. Remember that transfer case thing you were talking about? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're not, you're in two wheel drive. Uh, yeah, your front drive's spinning, but we have no, uh, Front drive line spinning? Front drive line spinning. I wonder if a hub broke. Uh, maybe. Oh, see if the U-joints are spinning. Because uh, if not, we have problems. And we have problems as it is. So that U-joint's not spinning? That U-joint's not spinning. Okay. Did I just blow a front end? Uh, you may have. So front drive line is spinning. So, uh, now what? <laughs> Lots of winching, that's what. All right. Time to get creative. Yep. Maybe that aura sponsorship can buy me a few <laughs> Well, I think, I think you already know what the answer is, Casey. What? Put something in there that doesn't break. Tons. There's that. Yeah. Nate, if you're watching, get the tons ready. Yep. <laughs> so what do you think if I side pull to that tree over there? Yeah. And get my front end enough that I can side pull to this tree over here. And get yourself and back And get myself track. back into here. Yeah. And then back down to him in two wheel drive and then use these trees to winch both of us up. Yeah. I think that's uh, good. Do you, uh, you have an air, you got an air compressor in this thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm wondering if worst case scenario too, uh, we can get him to air down because he actually has functioning four wheel drive. He's got to pull me out. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah. uh, it might be what it is. It okay. might be what it what it ends up being. So. Hey, see if you can see if you can use it to uh, pull yourself on top of the uh, snowpack. And then get a kind of running backwards. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of see if you can just gently, like no wheel speed. Okay. A little bit more. Cause you're still in that hole. There we go. Now they're like foot or so. I don't want to get. Yeah, I know you. I know you're close to the edge here. Can you pull out of that rope? Get some slack. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. I will say the uh... Don't say anything good because then it'll go bad. <laughs> Never mind, I won't say anything. I put my snowshoes on this morning, so I'm good. Now that's when I want to see the back end spinning over? Yep. Okay, so they just need to get pointed that way so I can get to that tree without, uh, you know, without... put it around my bumper. Right. Yeah. So that's pulling the whole thing over and digging in. Yeah. If we had to, we could uh, snatch block back to the rim that we're pulling the rim out from under it. Yeah. Would stop that. But I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think so. It'd be 
be doing great if we had four wheel drive. Right. You know what this means? What's that? I'm really glad we didn't dive off that hillside after that Tacoma. Remember the one we bailed out on? Oh yeah. If we'd have blown a diff down there. Oh man, we'd be SOL so bad. Bad, bad. I try to forget about Tacomas. Because that would have been, it would, what just happened here would have happened on that. Yeah. Because this is the next time we've used it. Yeah, that was way more precarious than this. Yeah. Way more. flight spider on them so I can do it evenly and like precisely down low. Yeah. Because I'm going to need every bit of help I can get. You get this vehicle uh, but, out of that ride where I'm sideways and high center. Yeah. Uh, I can turn my four wheel drive on and maybe pull you guys up. That might be what it comes to. I think yeah. once you're up here, you're going to be fine. Yeah. 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 And it, then it might be great. put you in the front. Yeah. yeah. So the big thing is going to be getting you turned around. So it might be, if we can pull you out backwards up into here. At least up into here, yeah. It is better up in there too. Maybe you might you might be going backwards farther than we thought. Well, it's because this is sloped to try to turn around on. Yeah. So it might be, we'll see. I think we can get up here and we'll kind of reevaluate if we can yeah, spin yeah. you around right here. It is dipping uphill, so this is in our favor. Like back up. If, you, if we can get you in here back, like if yeah. you can come up and try to get your back tires up into this. Yeah. Then I'm already facing this way, but I could get back to that tree and snatch block to your front end yep. and pull it around behind me. So we might we might do that. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let a lot more air out of these tires on a contingency. So here's my question to you. When you when you dove head first in there, uh, to try to get turned around, did you hear anything funny? Like the diff exploding? This thing makes funny noises the entire time. I know, but that's why I asked. But when it when it did it, yeah, I heard like it, it felt like if the transfer case popped out of gear. I wonder if, uh... But to me, it felt like the transfer case popped out of gear. You think maybe, oh... The drive line's spinning. Yeah, the drive I line's spinning. I broke the locker. Probably, it probably split the case. Or the, not the case, but the, uh... Why can't I think of it? The carrier. Yeah, carrier, thank you. So this is now deflating all four of them dead even, and I have a digital readout. I can get right to the tenth of a pound evenly in all four. So we're going to go down there because I'm going to need it. People ask if I get nervous before going to like a recovery every single freaking time because it's this scenario like what if my rig breaks? What if I can't do it? What if I get stranded? What if, what if, what if? Yeah. And in situations like this is worse because They've already been stranded overnight. We're going right. to help someone who is stranded, not just like going wheeling. And then they think helps here and helps in worse shape than they are. <laughs> it's not, it, I feel very, very bad. Like they're being super cool, but I yeah. feel bad about it. You know? Right. No, and I get where you're at. Cause I mean, like Cause to them, it looks like we're building the airplane as it flies. Good thing this is a sponsored video. We're not charging. <laughs> Is this uh, gonna? I was, I was like, I just want to make sure that's not gonna hit the glass. I'm just gonna back up easy. So okay. Well, it won't, because it's gonna hit the trim first, and then smash the glass. Okay. Godspeed, brother. This is the part where, like, I'm on the trail. I can go out. Okay, so I, they're down there digging on that one to try to get it freed up somehow. I uh, winched myself forward out of that hole I was in off a tree up there, and now I think I can roll back 
through that little spot I was just stuck in a little ice hole there and get back down to him we hook up and we went everything out together I feel so bad right now uh, they've already been through a lot here and then I show up thinking they've got help and they don't it I, I was serious like I get so nervous on every one of these recoveries going out to like all these different scenarios of what could go wrong what if this happens what if that in my head like anxiety eats me up on all these calls until everybody's back out of the woods it's not fun but I it's like you know the people I'm going to help are in a really bad situation and I'm supposed to be the one coming to help them and in my head I'm like can I even do this I don't know so uh, hopefully we get them out of here uh, if we have to we will put them in here get everybody out go get the track truck and come back with that so hope it doesn't come to that but we're gonna see what we can do and hopefully come on seas on through there we go hopefully we can do something for him here just gonna try to go nice and easy and not dig any holes Don't get up there. There we go. Just get back down in it. No. 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 We're still two. Okay. We're sure two, not one. Yep. Definitely gonna be a winch out of here. Definitely not gonna, I was hoping like maybe I'd have some traction to get a, a run with the kinetic rope and two wheel drive to pop it out of where it's at and then maybe they could go, but I'm not gonna be able to. It's gonna, I'm gonna have to hook on them and winch to the tree up there and we'll pull out. So let's go do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. help we can get. Yeah, you're going to be a low range, locked, everything you can do. Uh, I'm going to winch myself. You go back by him back there. And once that gets tension, you direct him on how much throttle to give. I want him to walk out of there without digging. Got it. The, uh, is all winched up? Yeah, we're, we're set up to, we're just doing a straight line pull. So... Okay, you got tension now. Put it in reverse. Okay. There you go. And then he's going to keep pulling on you. So just give it a little bit of throttle. A little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. And Whoa. hold that. Just a little bit of throttle. Don't spin. Yep. See, with the second you spin, you sink. Yeah. So just wait for his, his uh, stored up kinetic energy. And then there you go. Try to get in those tracks, and I think you should be okay. Nice. So keep coming. Keep coming. There you go. Straighten up a bit. There you go. All right. Uh, go passenger. There you go. So your back end straightens up. A little bit more passenger. A little bit more. A little bit more. Keep coming. Now straight. And now you should be out. So you, you might have some difficulty coming through this stuff, but we'll, uh, yep. yeah. Nope. Up all that ground. Yeah. Alrighty, man. You know that What's that? Since we've been here, yeah. I've gotten four calls for heavy duty recoveries. Of course. A lot of people say, why aren't you doing more off road recoveries? Well, one, 
This is only the seventh call I've gotten all season for off-road recovery. It's been absolutely dead. And so far we've only done one. Well, I guess we tried to do the other. But yeah. We've only, so we've gone out on two. Every other time, what's been happening is if the weather is to a point where there's off-road recoveries, there's a big truck stuck and needing help as well. And uh, it makes no sense to park that big $300,000 truck sitting in the yard and do off-road stuff or off-road rates, even, even paying jobs. So I choose the off-road recoveries every time. That's just what makes sense financially, or sorry, the heavy duty doesn't make sense financially. So, yeah, I've only got like seven calls. Five of them, I was already in the heavy wrecker and had heavy wrecker work at the same time. And the two times, third now, third time now that uh, I'm doing an off-road call, my phone is ringing like crazy for heavy duty stuff that I'm missing. So that's why you're seeing so much more heavy duty stuff. And the name of the company is Cascade Heavy Rescue. It was never meant to be off-road recovery in the first place. This is kind of what it snowballed into. Yes, you'll see a lot more heavy duty stuff. Um, and a lot less off road stuff. But uh, there's been, since, since I haven't been doing off road recovery, I've been like looking at some on, on YouTube of people who are. There's quite a few different ones out there. There's one, this dude, the laziest off road recovery guy I've ever met in my life. Um, I haven't met him, ever seen in my life. He's up in Canada, has an off-road recovery channel. They actually have snow up there. So if you don't snow recovery, he's got snow. This dude just sits in his Jeep. Dude, he, he drives out. He brings like one or two people with him every time. He drives out there for a person stuck. He never even gets out to introduce himself and he makes people ride with him, get out and do everything while he sits in the heater the whole time and does nothing but push the winch button. Like laziest off-road dude ever. If you want like, I want to talk crap, tell him actually get out and do something, but obviously I don't want to like, do that under my name. So if you guys want to go talk crap to him, tell him quit being lazy. It's his name is Bruce Cook, and uh, I'll put a link to his channel down there. They go like roast him some on that because dude needs like check his attitude and be a little humble and actually get out and do something. <laughs> a little bit of gas. Straighten up a touch. I think I need to double up that winch. Yeah. I was saying, it's making some noises. Yeah. So, kind of dig a channel here to get you into the other channel. Nice. Yeah, just build it, like, make it a sharp wall too. Yeah. So it funnels them over. And I'm gonna head for that tree. Then I'm gonna be up over in this. It doesn't matter because I have no drive traction anyway. Like I put it back in neutral, so I just grabbed the throttle for the yeah for the uh, alternator because my drive is doing nothing. Right. I was flicking this up, so I'll just leave it in neutral. Winch myself over there. Yeah. You get onto this. Like if you're sitting right here, I think you're out. Yeah. And then in all reality, if I'm out of the way, you go first. Yeah. Okay and stay in this and then stay back. I can wish myself back over. We can figure out how to get you turned around. And then uh, whether it's, cause I can even grab your back in and winch it back around if needed. Yeah. Right. And then you're ahead of me to help pull yeah. me out. Yeah. yeah. Say that, say that course. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. She's almost out of winch line. Yep. There you go. Yeah, here's super close. There you go. Perfect. Hold that. Yes. Woo! We're out, Casey.
I was getting to the edge of the yeah. pit there, like, yeah. I don't want to put my front end over the edge, but he's so <laughs> close. Yeah, because just ever so slightly got him. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to now figure out how I can winch myself kind of, I'm going to try to get completely out of this for you because I don't want you to scoot over around me and get back into soft. I want yeah, you to yeah. stay as, in this like, run. basically look out your window and keep this tire on that edge of that snowbank there the whole way. Yeah, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do to turn you around. Um, it might be where I did that, uh, where I did that right there. Yeah. If you can back up that, because there's some trees there, because I can winch my way up in there and grab your back end and winch it around back down. Because if you're sitting in this facing forward, yeah, you're home. Exactly, as long as I don't get high centered again. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. No. no. It's not that bad to get here. As long as you stay in those main tracks, and that'll be on the way out of here, you'll have to be real careful to stay in those main tracks. So, let me see what I can do here to get out of your way. Because you're going to pull me out of here. Yeah. That's how it's going to go. Yep. You think I could get that tree way over there and it'd be enough that I can pull myself up here without back over into his way there? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Yep. In all reality, if I end up in the way, I can just winch my, I can just go up yeah. farther. And we figure this out farther up. I do. That popping noise was not like the front end or the bumper or like that, it was a winch. Yeah. Can we stop at Harbor Freight on the way home? Start from my house. Okay. Maybe it was, maybe it was the way the rope was on there. Either way, I'm scared. Nicely done, sir. I'm gonna unhook this and then see if you can go by. Okay. One thing I did good all day. Yeah. At least we're working in a nice area. Yeah. Too bad it's so far away from help. Because right. What they saw in this video, by the way, I edited this in my head before I edited it. Yeah. They saw the introduction. They saw that sponsor bit while we were driving that little bit for a little over a minute. And then we're here. Yeah. They didn't see. But after that, we drove and drove and drove and yeah. drove. And we're not just right here. We're way out there. Yeah, we're way in the middle of nowhere. Here. Okay. Very good. Yeah, just keep that tire right on the high side of this rut. You don't want to get over. You want to be rubbing this edge. But don't turn too sharp and get your front end over either. Freedom. Not yet. I'm gonna figure out how to turn it around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Give it some throttle right there. See if it'll get into that. Okay. Stop. Don't dig in. So now I'm gonna get myself off of that down here. Yeah. I'm gonna come up here because then I can go to that tree. Snatch block to that back end. And I can pull your back end up and around. And then from sitting right here, once your side is there, I can go to that tree and grab your front end and pull you down and back out of there into this. Then we're in place for me to hook up to the back of you and you tow me out of here. So now I'm winching myself to him so that I get up close enough to him to use some trees up there to turn him around so that he can then pull me out. That's my plan for now anyway. 
All right. There you go. So he needs to um, give. Why don't you stand behind him on the other side over there? Yeah. So you're not in the triangle here. Yep. And then you can direct him on how much throttle to give. Sure. To walk out of there. Light throttle. There you go. Just a little bit of throttle. Keep in it. There you go. Straighten up. Hey, straighten your wheel. Throttle. Throw it, yep. There you go. Keep her going, keep her going. Keep her going, a little bit more. All right, a little bit of throttle. There you go. Hold that. Stop up. There you go. Oh! Okay. Now, that was like. You had about two inches to spare before yeah, you know, got I your... Yeah, uh... I could see this. Oh, okay. It's one of the few things I could see. Yeah. Okay, turn... Uh... Let's make sure that's not... Turn uh... right passenger. All right, now ease forward if you can. Yep, keep coming. That's okay. Keep coming. All right, stop there. Let me pull you so it doesn't pull off to the side, All right. farther in. But it, you know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Yeah. So it doesn't do that thing we don't want it to do. Right. It doesn't do the stuff and yeah, the things. Pull on it before it yeah. starts. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go change the battery. Okay. We're uh, so we're red. Front center console. Understood. Okay, hold up. You're in your red. I know. But I'm right here. I mean, you still got. I don't know. Three quarters of wrap on there. You don't want to spin on this one because we don't want it to slide over. We want it to pull that way. Yeah. So, uh, Ethan will direct you on how much throttle, and it might even be a good point you to do some brake to slide it over. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you want to probably safe spot yeah. on that. I'm gonna, side yeah, I'm gonna go on the passenger side. Okay. All right. So just put it in drive with a slight bit of throttle. There you go. Let him pull you out of the hole. There you go. Just a little bit. Hold up. All right, a little bit more. All right. Yeah. I. Um, Casey, I think he might be able to back up. I don't want this to slide and come this way at all because that just works against us. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to risk losing ground right now because all I've been doing all day is trying to do that little bit of thing by driving and making it work and losing ground. Right. So, right. You want to pull that off of there while I take this down? Yeah. Just go hook that hook to that and I'll wind this in. All right. drive because your front end's pointing that way I'm pulling your back end this way so it could be your I might have you give some throttle to help spin that tire and break it free but that's also putting your front tire the direction we want to go gotcha. uh, I have to sit on the brake because I don't have front full drive anymore yeah okay keep it turned to yeah yeah Get some throttle? Yeah. There you go. Ah. Oh. You're okay. You just lost a bead. Easy fix. Good thing we aired it down. Yep. Okay. Give it a bit of throttle. Ah, don't worry about it. Get 
That was the one thing I was concerned about doing this. Yeah. Didn't. Slide the tire over. Yeah, so what happened uh, is basically the sidewall folded yeah. and the bead burped. Yeah. So we'll just have to reset it. Yeah. So people ask why I never air down the customer's vehicle. That's why. In this case I did because we're kind of at an out of the ordinary case completely, so I'm okay with it. But, but then I treated it like it wasn't. And, now it's definitely aired down. These VFGs are notorious for this too. Are they? Yeah. If you lower them down. Yeah, that's why you got to be careful with the, this. You'll get it. You'll get it. You're gonna get a whole whole lot of education today. So. Yeah. You learn all the things not to do today. Yes. Like. Because I'm gonna show them to you by example. Yes. <laughs> Just that's that much more clearance between a back window or something. Yeah. Just in case. What's that even for? Uh, winching. Oh. You can hook shackle to shackle there, chain to chain, and run this, and it's a winch. Gotcha. A handy device. They're the most pain in the ass things to use, but they do have a lot of features if you're very patient and have a lot of physical energy and are very stubborn. I've got stubborn. Out of those three, you're, I was gonna say you're running out of steam. I'm running out of steam. Well, no, I've been sick for more than two months. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been quite a while. Okay. I mean, we lifted a F350 dually with this jack, so yeah. And that's why my fingernail's purple. Oh, remember? I do remember that. Why are you frozen in the ground? Okay, hold that. You're starting to shift down the hill. I see that. Uh, okay. And I think you can get. I think you can put that tire back on. Okay. Open that slide valve on that deal. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. It was just barely leaking right there, just a little bit of pull on it. Oh yeah. But nice. I didn't want to make it start leaking on the back side. Just go. Oh, it's going. Man. Come on, a little more flight. The inside just went. Nice. Uh, Yay. Now fair warning, you may have to get it rebalanced afterwards. Yeah. It didn't at, spin. At worst, but oh, it didn't I spin? Mean, it didn't spin on the rim. Stop. Okay, now turn a little faster. And now you're not on the edge of it now, so ease forward. And as soon as you feel it start to go on the edge of the hole, give a little throttle to bump your way through it. Right there. Perfect. Okay, don't leave without me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've realized? What's that, Casey? Trip, I'm not actually good at off road recovery. I just live in an area that has a lot of trees around to bail me out. <laughs> well, ain't over yet. So. This is a stick to big trucks. Yeah. Actually, no, I got that stuck too. I should. What am I good at? Make Troll it trolling the internet. I was going to say making sarcastic, sarcastic comments on the internet. Yeah. Creating monsters. As a professional internet troll. <laughs> uh, but you'll see the main ones. Yeah. Back when we had four-wheel drive. Yeah. Stay as center of the main ones as you can. And just take it nice and easy. Don't spin, don't dig. I'm spinning. Pass. 
so soft. Right? I never get to ride on this side. Silky smooth. What a day. How did we end up here? That's what I want to know. Um, bad decisions, uh, faulty equipment, improper maintenance, um, bad decisions. Um, yeah. All of it was my fault. Basically, every bit of it. So what are we going to do moving forward? Just pretend I didn't hear the phone ring. Sounds good. That solves so many of these problems. <laughs> now, this is going to Nate's shop and some new sort of front end. I like that idea. Or one tons or whatever. I know Nate's not going to fix this one. No. When he's got one tons laying there. Yeah, and it's already it's already on leaf springs, so it's not like it's a hard swap. Yeah. And then I gotta get new wheels. So I get new wheels, get new tires, get new tires. I might as well get 40, so that one tons. And then. Uh, we well, need a new transfer case too. So. You need a new transfer case. That's yeah. not the issue this time, but I do. No. Yeah. Well. Time for a YouTube short. Yep. Plan. So, slightly different experience for me out here, but luckily Chris like can drive uh, good, and so he's pulling me out nice and smooth. He's able to get himself. Dude, if we'd had some of the customers I've had that are like the the all or nothings, um, trying to get that out with this yeah. immobile would have been the gas pedal absolutely is. terrible. But, Some people think it's an on-off switch for the gas pedal. Yeah, so uh, glad he was our customer. Also the fact that he's super cool about the fact that I failed on every freaking level. It's all right. Dude, like everything went wrong. Like all of it, like this in every which way. I just kept getting myself stuck in worse and worse. Pulled his tire off the bead. Like, it's a total mission failure. A whole bunch of failures lead to one big success, I think. <laughs> is that is that if you turn left far enough, you eventually make a right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You just keep going left until you figure yeah. it out, man. And sometimes that's uh, you just need to have the patience and uh, the what's the word? Stubbornness. Stubbornness. Just to keep going. Tenacity. Sure. There you go. That's Tenacity the is the, like the more positive way of saying stubborn. Yeah. yeah. I mean. You just kept getting kicked down. I'm like, oh, I want to help you. But I'm like, I'll let Casey figure it out. Yeah, so a lot of people say, like, why don't Ethan actually do something? Like, he's the cameraman. That's his job. Yes. Uh, his job is to film. Uh, I'm there to do the job. He, I literally hired him to film. And I've actually had to tell him to stop helping yes. so much because he, he does want to help and he is actually good at it. So he wants to just put camera down, jump in and help or be helpful, kind of holding the camera. But his job is to film so that you guys see a video. That's what I hired him for. So I actually, in the beginning, I had to really tell him, like, yeah, stop, like, just film, like, put down it's, the tools. Like, it's really hard. Yeah. So Because <laughs> this is what I do in my spare time. That's why he does not help as much as some people think he should be, because his job is not to help. But I think we kind of we kind of talked about a way of doing a little bit more on some of these bigger recoveries that might include him actually doing the job, me doing more filming, while working too. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, don't get mad at him for not helping because I get mad at him for helping. So he can't win. He just gets no, it from no. both sides. I'm borked. Yeah. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. No. Get back over. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. He he got he he eased up some so he didn't yank me off the side. And then once I got back in track, he kept going again. That was, go. he's paying attention. Usually when I'm telling somebody off the side, I don't notice it for like 50 yards. I'm like, look back there over the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So update, uh, we got towed four or five miles. Yeah, somewhere in there. Oh, and okay. then it, the snow got better. So now we're, we're unhooked and we're driving on our own. Uh, it's going somewhat decent. I shouldn't say that because then it won't. But we're cruising along. We've got another for five miles to go. Uh, get back to the main road, then I gotta air both of our rigs back up and then see if we can make it home. I made it back out to the main road as you can see. So 
Ethan's getting his tires aired up there with the Morflate, and then we're gonna air up mine. And then uh, we had a we had a debate still to see. I gotta ask Ethan his thoughts on it. So we'll get this done first, and we'll check on that. The big question. Yeah. A lot went wrong. A lot happened. Yeah. Does and my I, my answer to this is no because it was a fail on so many ways. But does this job deserve the celebratory chocolate milk? Okay. We didn't permanently damage the vehicle. No. The customer is out safe. Yes. You're out in one piece. Yeah. Go we'll get that chocolate milk. You know what really brings it down for me though and makes what's, you think what's no? That? What's that? Is that you know what saved the day? What's that? A Toyota? A Warren Winch and a freaking Toyota. <laughs> and that's my luck. Of course.